Hi, my name is Dex from my consult and as we get closer to the implementation of e-invoice in Malaysia, uh, what happens is we're going to release uh, weekly videos to help our clients and viewers on how easy it is to actually implement e-invoice for your business using SQL and AutoCamp accounting. Alright, so in today's video, we will actually be looking into how your company can actually issue e-invoice to individual customers. All right? Alright, so before we can actually create the e-invoice for an individual, the first thing we will need to do is to create the customer in our system first. So we can come here to maintain customer, we can press new, we key in the customer name. So the individual name will be keying under the company name here. Then after that, you can come to your text tab here. And then here, the ID, we will change it and we will put in, say example, IC number. We can key in the IC number. Then from here, the TIN number, right, because uh, it's not a compulsory field anymore, you can either key in the actual TIN or you can just select here general public. Okay, so when we put general public, we can be done and press save. All right, okay, now we are ready to create the invoice. What happens is we come here to sales here, we press invoice and then press new. And then from here, instead of selecting the company, we will select our name. Okay, key in the invoice as per normal, means you select your product code, then you put in what's the uh, quantity, what's the unit price, and of course, there's a classification code already. So once you're done, we just press save, we can come to my invoice here, and we can press submit sandbox e-invoice. Okay, so now the system is processing, and it shows that it has been validated already. Okay, so this is actually how easy you can create e-invoice for an individual person with SQL accounting. So if you have a certain guide you would like us to cover, do leave in the comment below. Alright, thank you.